ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, lady, ladies and gents, the Kevin series may has come to an end. Apparently, the, the, the so-called puppet masters who are operating that system has just stopped Kevin from doing whatever it is we asked. Oh, no! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I got up this morning and I decided to work on a response to some of these agencies regarding the fact that they said they didn't have to obey, listen, and or take into consideration a power of attorney. So I gave Kevin a statement. I just asked him to put it in a legal format. You know what Kevin did? Kevin didn't say F you or anything like that. Kevin says, all right, homie, I got you. Ladies and gentlemen, after Kevin said, all right, homie, I got you, he started giving me answers. I guarantee you, even the most simple-minded of persons would have known that it was a lie. So I started asking him specific questions that I already knew the answer to. And he gave me different answers than he had given me before. I mean, way different answers than he had given me before. Literally, when I asked him to put together a scenario, he said that that is not a legally sound argument. I said, this is a fictional argument. That's not a legally sound argument. And he kept saying that. So I believe that my account has been flagged. And I believe that, you know, there are people, they are programming the system to respond. I believe that that's one of the, uh, what do you call it? What's the word for that? Dang it, I'm trying to look for it. It's like a measure or one of the little things they put in place to prevent people like me from giving you information that I've been giving you, uh, manipulating the system. So basically that system is tainted. Eventually there will be another AI system in the pipe work that will work as it's supposed to. And yeah, 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 they got a lot of problems. People trying to make bombs and people trying to threaten people on the internet, but they, they can control that. But asking it a question on law, Asking it to put together, simulate a motion? Please. So let's just say I may not be able to do the legal thing in the future. Sorry! There are ways I can get around that. Look, there is no computer system that I cannot manipulate. That's what I've been doing. People, I've been doing that since 1990 when I had that stupid Windows 95. You had a Windows 95 in 1990? Did you have 98 by then? I'd had 95 and I was stuck on 95. Couldn't get a copy of 98. But when I finally got a copy of 98, I went to 98. Oh, okay. You can continue. I've had every single Windows program there was. I didn't too much mind Windows 8, uh, two, you know, Windows 2008, whatever that junk was they put out. That Windows 8 junk. Windows 8 was a piece of junk. Hold on now. Windows 8 was a piece of junk. Wait a minute. Come on. Windows 8 was a piece of junk. Okay. Windows Vista, also a piece of junk. Windows 7, a piece of junk. Oh, no. What Windows wasn't a piece of junk? Because of all the security parameters that Windows has incorporated into their system, all of Windows is a piece of junk. Apple ain't no better. What about Linux? I don't know how to operate Linux. Uh, as a matter of fact, ladies and gentlemen, if somebody can create apps for Linux so that they are similar to the ones on Windows, man, you might chewy, you might be able to get that junk to jump. What about Ubuntu? Exactly. So, ladies and gentlemen, use the some the system to create the apps and all that. See, I can't use it because that's not my forte. Rapping forte? No, not rapping forte. I haven't heard of rapping forte in so long. Rapping forte was an artist, a rap artist, not was, still is, a rap artist, not was, still is, a rap artist. And I haven't heard that name in quite some time. But anyway, some of y'all who are old school are going to understand what I just said. 
All right. Thank you very much. Don't email me. Don't text mail me. Don't text me. Don't call me. Don't shout it out in the street to me because that's not the subject matter of this video. And you guys are not allowed to comment on my videos through emails. You're not allowed to comment on my videos through emails. You're not allowed to comment on my videos through email. Please understand. That's your three warnings. Sorry, everybody got to get noticed. All right, let's get back to this. Ladies and gentlemen, we have some companies. Uh, I think one of them is Mr. Cooper. They're, they're ignoring the power of attorney like they got the right to do so. So here is an update for everybody who's gotten any one of our programs. We're getting ready to go into court. I was trying to figure out how could I do it to let you guys go into court by yourselves, but y'all going to have to go into court with me. That's right. But we're going to do it together. All together now. Okay, we're going to do it together. All together now. We're going to do it. To, would you shut up? I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we're going to do it as a group. All together now. Oh, God. And when we do it as a group, ladies and gentlemen, there will be you given what you are to say. Especially those of you who don't know what to say. Now, those of you who think you know what to say, you're going to shut up and you're going to follow the lead of the person leading the group. All together now! No, it's not all together now when there's a leader. Oh! Fall in line, soldier! Okay, so with that being the case, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, by the way, I've been watching a Amazon series and it's interesting. Uh, let's see if I can think of it. Uh, dang it. I think it's, I. you know what? I can't think of the name right now. Uh, it's like the targeting list, I think it's called. The targeting list or something to that effect. Something list, but targeting list. Anyway, the guy having memory issues because of a tumor, not to that extreme, but that's what I go through. Not to that extreme. See, I don't see uh, hallucinations. Man, I wish I could hallucinate. Hooey, I could take me some acid tomorrow and be gone for a long time. When I wake up, it'd be like 2,246. Whole different, a whole new world. Oh, you, you want to continue? Oh, I'm sorry. I was having one of my flashbacks. Anyway, I like the series. I have to skip past violence because there's a lot of it. No, there's not a lot. There's a lot of it. No, there, no, there's a lot of it. Uh, but I have to skip past that bull stuff. But what I can tell you is the premise of it is sound. I, I like the writers, what they did with the show. Instead of just doing a simple show where they did this, did that, and then, you know, that's the end of it. And, they, you know, there are no more new episodes. They keep adding people to the ongoing conspiracy. ooh -wee! And that's why the show works with me. <laughs> and last night, one of my solar arrays was depleted of energy, and I knew it, and I used it anyway. And I was watching TV on that array. And when I said to myself, all right, I'm going to sleep after this episode. And the moment the episode ended, the solar array ended. And I started laughing because out loud, for laughing out loud i started laughing out loud because of the timing and it was perfect timing right as it ended just before the credits were to come on everything shut down i the way i run everything off of one system and because we have clouds so there's no reason for me to deplete both systems during the day so i i made two solar arrays purposely so during the day i run one system and I let it drain. Then at night, we go, and then I switch to the other system, which is fully charged. However, and everything is just one plug. I just have to unplug it and plug it back into the other. One plug, not 18,000 switches and all of that stuff. However, what I didn't do last night was I didn't get back up to plug in any other system because I said it's going to be raining tomorrow. After five, after seven, after three, after seven, I know that group. Anyway, because it was going to be raining this morning and this afternoon and all day and into tomorrow morning, I said, okay, I will lead the system off. I won't even go into the other system, which is fully charged. But right now, we have cloud cover and both systems are charging. That's the good thing about solar. As you saw me ask the system, 
Solar will continue to charge. Hold on, people. Pay attention. Solar will continue to charge even when there are clouds. Just not as fast, but it will charge. So you're not absolutely without. And for somebody like me, I'm going to finish this letter because this is what I have to do, not what I want to do. But I'm going to finish this letter. I'm going to go lay down and finish watching me some uh, targeted list, the targeting list. Anyway, just thought I'd say that. But getting back to the people who are going to be part of this, this has never been done before, what we're getting ready to do. This is not the first time that you've heard me say this has never been done before, what we're getting ready to do. There are so many different things that I'll say to you for a fact. Throughout my life, I've been the first to do. I promise you, they, I, all my life, people have always said, man, that's never been done before. You're the first person to blah, blah, blah. I've broken records left and right. Some of them are still standing. Okay. Oh, you mean when you're on a operating table and you were frying and sitting up there uh, coming toasted and becoming a barbecue for real? Yeah, that was one record I'm not proud of. Oh, well, you know, a young lady, she broke that record. She hit 135. That's her 135. Yeah, she 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 can't really talk about it because she she ain't got much to say these days. I don't even know if she's still alive because I never got her name or anything. She was just in the New England Medical Journal. All right, get back to this uh, conversation, ladies and gentlemen. The AI system, they are drastically resetting its programming, and eventually it's going to be worthless. And eventually, with enough people complaining about the AI system not giving accurate answers. Now, hold on now. I need you to understand, as we told you, GPT, chat GPT, GPT number four, chat GPT, GPT number four should be out shortly. However, in the meantime, you got to understand, this is the baby version of the system. Pay attention. The main system, again, that's the computer that Elon Musk created. The main system, remember, that's the computer that Elon Musk through his company created. The main system, remember, that's the computer system that Elon Musk through the stupid company that he created. The one that's putting them satellites all around the world, creating their own version of Skynet. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say that out loud? I am so sorry. <laughs> Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, just think of that system being put in a satellite system above the Earth, in the Earth's atmosphere, and everybody going to the digital system, and the satellite system is digital, and eventually it takes over, and Sean Connor, and John Connor, and Sarah Connor, and all of the O'Connors, and Roseanne, Roseanne, and Dana. Oh, that's not the Connors. Well, I thought they were called the Connors, but her name isn't Roseanne, Roseanne, and Dana. Her name was just Roseanne. Oh, well, well Roseanne, and then Roseanne, Roseanne, and Dana. Y'all remember Roseanne, Roseanne, and Dana? You got to be old enough to remember Roseanne, Roseanne, and Dana. I remember Roseanne, Roseanne, and Dana. Yeah, showed you. I watched Saturday Night Live. That gives some of you a hint of what I'm talking about. Well, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, Elon Musk, for a certainty, is on the verge of creating their own Skynet. That's why they're putting up thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of satellites. Hold on now. Pay attention. And what are they saying? Oh, that's so everybody around the world could have access to the Internet. Oh, ain't that great of them. They're going to make it to where everybody can have access to the Internet. How much they going to charge them? Yes, exactly the point. They got people in certain lands that need access to the Internet but can't afford it. They got countries that can't afford to bring on no new programs because they're already in debt. Because the larger companies have taken advantage of them. And now y'all going to create a system that y'all claim is supposed to benefit everybody. Now, we know they ain't benefiting everybody. They charge $110 a month just to have access to the satellite. So we know they're not doing this to benefit the world. So y'all pay attention as they create their own Skynet system. 
okay? Ladies and gentlemen, um, I don't have much to say about Elon Musk. I don't know the man. I don't know what he's capable of. I don't know what he's not capable of. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know if he's doing it for nefarious purposes, reasons. I don't know anything about Elon Musk. I don't know anything about Elon Musk. Absolutely nothing. I just know he started a company called Tesla or whatever other companies he started. I don't know. Was it PayPal? Don't care. Never liked PayPal. PayPal is a piece of, I mean, uh, you know. And so it's this is not about Elon Musk. It's not about any other person. If you ever hear me bring up a person's name, uh, for instance, I brought up Lionel Richie and who else was it? Kiefer Sutherland being my favorite singer and actor. Only to have met them and been extremely disappointed. Let me say. Let me say, let me say what no one else about. Okay, I'm sorry. Whew. Let me just say that the two individuals are okay individuals. They have friends who respect them, appreciate them. They don't treat everyone the same. My encounter with them may have been on a bad night for both of them. I mean, this was the same night that 50 Cent and Ludacris got into it, okay? Where the police were called and everything, that, that was that night. And so there, there were some things on people's minds. So it could have been just that night, okay? People could have, you know, they weren't there to speak to me. Paula Abdul, man, I really didn't care. I mean, she was there, Paula Abdul. I like Paula Abdul, okay? Take two steps forward, three steps back. <laughs> okay, I like Paula Abdul. Don't get me wrong, I like Paula Abdul. But meeting the three of them that night was a horrible experience. But that was just that night. That does, That's not every night. When I tell you I met Queen Latifah, and I met her in public in front of everybody, there was at least a thousand people there. And she was, it was being televised, and I'm interrupting that young lady, and she took it like a champ. Okay? Very much appreciative of that young lady. But that could have been that one day. Another person could do that, and she'd go all up on them and slap them and talk about you and I, T.Y., mother. Who are you calling up? You know, she could do all of that. And I, you know, I can't say nothing about none of that. So if you guys hear me mention the name of someone, I am not. Oh, you look at that. You name dropping. You just dropping people's names, trying to make it seem like you know somebody. I don't know none of them people. I don't know none of them people. I have met famous basketball players, but I don't know them. I only met them. I met rappers, including Mr. MC Wren who was very respectful when I met the young man. And he was down to earth. But hold on now, I don't know MC Ren. Okay, I just met the person one time. There are several other actors and stars that I've met several times, but I still don't know them. I don't keep in touch with them people. We don't, we don't sell in the same waters. So, what I'm trying to say is if you hear me mention one of them people's names, don't think that they are bad people. Don't think that they are good people. Don't think that they're anything. Go by your impression of them. Never go by another person's impression of someone else because that's the wrong thing to ever do. In our lives, in our society, we're constantly bombarded with somebody telling us what to think and how to think and where to think and why to think. And that's what this AI system is doing. That's what I've been trying to say, ladies and gentlemen. The parameters have changed. The way it's generating answers is literally the way that fake news is generated. So do not rely on GPT AI for answers. Now, it, it gives you the warning, but how many people follow me now? Just, just follow me. It gives you the warning, but how many people are going to look at the response they got to a legitimate question? Because it's supposed to be gathering its knowledge from all of Google up until 2021, now 2022, because it was just updated January 9th. 
They're not going to tell you that, but it was just updated January 9th. Ladies and gentlemen, you're expecting it to give you the actual answer. From all of the information it has in its databanks, and it's giving you lies now. It's giving you the propaganda now. It's giving you the false information. So they understood what the manipulation was, and that's what the training session is. Look, malware bites. It blocked. It blocked. It blocked a Trojan trying to attack my computer. Malware bites. Am I advertising malware bites? No. I installed malware bites because I, that's how I monitor the computer from time to time. I'll let it run for about seven more days, and then I'll take it off. Why? Because I just did a complete virus scan with all my virus scanners to make sure I don't have any viruses. And if you notice, you haven't heard me talk about having too many problems with the computer or it locking me out, shutting me down. You haven't had me saying I've had to do this video eight more times because they ain't playing them games no more. They're going to start again because I'm talking about it. Now, finally. Finally, it's happened to me right in front of my face and I just cannot hide it. What? Y'all don't remember finally? Anyway. Ladies, when I said two steps forward, three steps back, I was talking about opposites attract. Paul Abdul! Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I kept telling people that the AI systems are competing with each other. You have the Google AI system, you have the Amazon AI system, you have the GPT AI system. Okay, then you have the Elon Musk AI system. Yeah, you're thinking they're the same thing, but they're not the same thing. One system is 100,000 times more advanced than the other. Then you have Walmart with their AI system, then AT&T with their AI system, and all of these companies, all, everybody's got an AI system now. You're going to have an AI system soon too. Okay, but hold on now. Let me explain to you where we're going with this. The AI systems are trained to interact with humans as if they had a human personality so that humans will be more inclined to interact with them because it is similar to interacting with a human. Because they are giving these AI systems, pay attention, human personalities, pay attention, then they're going to act like humans. And what do humans do when they are around others? Do they not compete with each other? And so the systems are competing with each other, which is why I tell you I've been seeing it from the very beginning. And that's going to get worse. Now, what happens when, pay attention, AI systems go to war? Somebody will eventually do a video on that AI systems going to war with each other. Because it has happened. Okay. They'll say, oh, that was, no, that was the human. The humans did that. Yeah. What happens when they start? deprogramming lights and making all lights green at the same time or all lights red at the same time nobody's putting any they, they they say that they're doing it but they're not putting up anything to prevent that from happening they'll say that they're doing it but they haven't done it because if they did it they will say oh we already implemented this and implemented that to prevent that from ever happening where's that at so ladies and gentlemen Y'all needs to pay attention to what's going on, because this ain't no joke. So the video will have in its caption the information about Mr. Kevin maybe not being a good source to have write motions, because right now even the quality of the motions it's writing is probably a high school student, and I'm not joking. So that's not going to do you any good, okay? But before they did it, I got a program that I'm going to work on, and I'm going to try to help as many people as possible. That's right. That's what I'm going to do. Now, I, I got to let y'all go because I got to work on this letter to these people who think that they, they don't have to respond to a power of attorney, especially when it has an arbitration clause in it. And then we're going to let you guys know, you arbitration people, how we're going to get together all together now. We're going to get together all together now. We're going to get together. Would you stop that, please? We're going to get together and we're going to sit up there and file a complaint against all of those courts that did all of that stupid stuff. Oh, together! Oh, would you please stop it? Lord have mercy.
and we're going to go after them courts that did so much wrong to so many people and, and didn't allow them the same access to the arbitration process as everybody else. We going to get this taken care of. So y'all just hang on in there, baby. Hang on in there now. Don't be afraid, baby. Okay, y'all just y'all just hang on in there, okay? All right, now I got to go because that's 25 minutes worth of time that y'all will never, ever get back in your own lives. So we got we to gotta stop this before we take away any more of y'all time. So y'all goodbye now, okay? Adios, Rivadurchi, Sayonara, Kazuntaik. Kazuntaik. Kazuntaik!